Hello and welcome to another Tweaker Man video. Today we're going to be showing you how to make a mains filter plug. Now, basically, first of all, you'll need a plug. We'll use these ones, they're not very expensive, they're just made by a company called PMS. And the reason we use this one is because there's lots of room inside the plug. Okay, so we're going to undo the plug. And that is the inside of the plug. Now, what we use is we're using a delta filter. Okay, this comes from our local electronics shop, uh, big chain that everybody knows in Great Britain. Um, and we use an inline suppressor, which is a little capacitor that goes inside the plug as well. Okay, um, we're going to use some heat shrink. Uh, we, we've cut a tiny bit of conduit, plastic conduit, which is going to house the delta filter. And you'll need a soldering iron, some silver solder, and a heat gun. Okay, first of all, we're going to start with taking the plug apart. You're going to take the restrainer bit of the plug off. Now this is very simple and easy to make. Now companies charge around about 80 pounds, well between 80 and 100 to buy a main silencer <clears throat> and what it effectively does is it filters the electric from nasty noises on the mains okay we've taken that off pull that one out okay I'm going to flip out the fuse take the fuse out put that there okay now we're going to loosen the terminals And the earth. Okay. Now this plug has all <clears throat> has already got a uh, a guide on how to uh, how long to cut the wires, but because this goes a bit further out, we need to just judge it ourselves. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to get a pair of scissors. We're going to offer the filter up to the plug. Push that back in there. Okay, we're going to just judge it ourselves. Take it to about there. Take that off. Okay, and the red goes to the live, and the black goes to the neutral. So we're going to offer that up to there. Getting a bit messy there. I'll take that down to about. There, chop that about there. And the black. Curl the black round a little bit because it's going to come back on itself there. Take that down to about there. Is that about right? The black needs a little tiny bit more for that. <clears throat> now we've got our soldering iron turned on. Um, what we're going to be doing now, okay, get a knife. We're going to strip the wire back and we're going to put a bit of solder on them, each one of them. I'm going to twist that round. Same with this one. You can use a pair of wire strippers, but I find it easier just with a knife. Um, right now, at last, at least the earth wire. Right, okay, <clears throat> we're going to put a bit of solder on the end of all these. There we go. Right, okay. Uh, 
What's that one? Now earlier I said you, that these would cost around about 80 to 100 pounds to buy one of these. To make this, you're looking at about a pound for the plug, or I mean you could use a better quality plug, an MK safety plug. The only reason, as I said, I use this type of plug because you've got a lot of room in the inside of it to do this. Um, and to make one of these filters, it doesn't cost you a lot more than about six pounds, which is superb. Right, okay now, we've got our, um, our Delta filter all ready to go. And now we're going to be using our inline suppressor as well. So we're going to, we need to get this sorted out. So we're going to bend the part that's going into the neutral. So we're going to fit it in the plug there, and then we're going to offer it up. And we're going to chop it about there for the for the, the live. Okay, and then we're going to chop a bit off of the neutral there as well. It's a bit too long. Right. Okay. Okay, now we're going to get our piece of plastic pipe, which is a bit of conduit that we've cut to 50 mil, and uh, we're going to place our delta filter inside it. Okay, then we're going to get a piece of heat shrink. Now this heat shrink is 25 mil thick, and we're going to measure it to about 60 mil. No, more than that. We're going to measure it. I'm going to take it over there. We're going to measure it to about 80 mil. Okay, so we're going to put it onto there. Cut it with our scissors. Then we're going to slide it over the delta filter. I'm going to take it up to about there. Okay, now we're going to plug in our, our heat gun. We're going to hold it about there, give it enough for the back, room for that there. Take it up so it's just poking over the top. That's, you need to have the delta filter level with the top of the... If you look there, in it, the delta filter needs to be level with the top of the conduit. Okay, we're going to just bring that up very slightly more. Okay. I'm going to heat, this, heat the heat shrink up. Go to the other end. Okay, watch out, it gets very hot at this point. Okay, now we're going to heat the other rest of it up in the centre. Then what we're going to try to do is we're going to push the heat shrink inside there. Hold it. Can we maybe better off just for heat up a bit? We'll push it in afterwards. Go like that. There we go. That goes around there like that. Now this is going to be quite hot, so okay. We need to just push that in like that. There you go. So it just goes in nice and neat. Give it a bit more shrinkage on that. Right. <coughs> now that's our. That's our. I dealt a filter in place. Okay, now we're going to wire that into there first. So we're going to start off with the, with the live. Let's call it that one needs to be. Opened up a bit more than that. Take that actually take the live out and we can put that in there like that. We're going to just do it up for now so we can get it in place. 
before we put the inline suppressor in as well. Okay. So we can get it in the right place. Right, okay, we're gonna do the same with with the neutral. Take that up. Just gonna push that into place there for now. Right, the idea is it's got to be quite tight there. Okay, so I'm going to pull that back. There we go. Okay, now we're going to get the, the light and the earth in place now. I'm going to do the plug a bit more. There we go. Popped in there nice. Right, okay, we can tighten this up now. I can't tighten that one because that's not coming off again. Okay. Now what we're going to be doing is putting the strainer, the cord restrainer back on. Um, we'll turn it up the other way, so that gives us a bit more space. Okay, now go around to the back of it, push the screw back in. There we go, now I'm going to tighten that up onto that. To the other side. Right, okay, I'm going to tighten that right up over them. Okay. Make sure it's nice and tight, stops that from falling out the bottom. Right, okay, we can, at this point we can put the fuse back into place because it will hold the, uh, the live terminal in place. Right, okay, so now all we need to do now is we're going to have to, uh, we'll to untighten the, uh, the live and the neutral again. You can see that there. So we're going to have to push it, we're going to push our inline suppressor in there we go it's gone in there nicely okay then we're going to tighten that back up on the live make sure it's nice and tight so you don't want any movement in there right we'll just push up the uh the neutral so we're going to do exactly the same there with that but this is quite tight just undo that a bit, right up there like that. Gonna push the neutral into the place. There we go. I'm gonna push it right round so it goes in. You can see by the back of the plug that it's in there, the terminal I mean. Tighten that back down. Right. Go around checking all of the terminals now, make sure they're all tight. That's nice and tight. That's nice and tight. Okay, now we've got our Delta filter fitted on there, and we've also now got our inline suppressor in the plug as well. So all this needs to do now is just to put the the plug top on. Okay, nice and tight there. There we go. One mains conditioning socket plug. Okay, now this is a diagram of the frequency response. So there's the attenuation in decibels and the frequency response in the megahertz. And that shows you the filtration of the delta filter and the, the inline suppressor. Okay, what I would say at this point is um, if you're not capable of doing this yourself, 
but make sure you get a competent person to do it for you, electrician, electronics engineer, or someone who is um, very familiar with wiring plugs. Okay. Okay, thank you for watching another Tweaker Man video. Subscribe and like. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.